Washington, Washington. Six foot eight weighs a fucking ton. Opponents beware, opponents beware. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Let me lay it on the line, he had two on the vine. I mean two sets of testicles, so divine. On a horse made of crystal, he patrolled the land. With the mason ring and schnauzer in his perfect hands. Here comes George, in control. Women dug his snuff and his gallant stroll. Eight opponents' brains. And invented cocaine. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Washington, Washington, six foot twenty, fucking killing for fun. Spread, spread, Delaware. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Sue me if I go too fast. But the sons of his opponents wish that he was their dad. Got a wig for his wig, got a brain for his heart. He'll kick you apart, he'll kick you apart. Ooh, he'll save children, but not the British children. 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 He had a pocket full of horses, fuck the shit out of bears, threw a knife into heaven and could kill with a stare. He made love like an eagle falling out of the sky, killed his sensei in a duel, and he never said why. Washington, Washington, 12 stories high, made of radiation. The present beware, the future beware. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Did I mention his four nuts? Well, he also had four dicks. If you took off his boot, you'd see the dicks growing off his feet. I heard that motherfucker had like 30 goddamn dicks. He once held an opponent's wife's hand in a jar of acid. At a party. Yo, what is going on, guys? We are finally here. The Nintendo Direct Japanese going down in just a couple of minutes. Um, it is 5:56 right now, so this thing is just ready to go down. So um, I'm excited. I don't know if you guys are sharing the same hype levels as I am. Although I'm not as hype as I am with other directs because usually we kind of get and I have a notion of what they're going to be about. This one is a little bit odd in terms of the timing because we have a direct that's scheduled for the United States coming out in. Uh but um, just like two weeks, a little more than two weeks, so it's a little odd to see a direct happening right now, but I mean, hey, whatever the case may be, I'm still excited to see it. Um, no idea what it's going to show though, so I know everyone's in the same boat pretty much. I apologize for the late stream, and I apologize for not having things on point. Splatoon's been fucking my life up. I don't know if I'm the only person who's been suffering from just playing Splatoon for hours and hours. I haven't slept in 48 hours, to be honest with you guys. Um, it's been kind of crazy, but um, 
All right, man, we are finally ready for this thing. So um, let's just read a couple of comments before this thing starts, because, you know, you know, once... Oh, man, I'm just off of it, man. That Splatoon has just been fucking me up the ass royally, man. Um, some comments, some comments. Um, people said Fire Emblem. Dude, we need Fire Emblem in three minutes this direct is about to start. I don't think we can do any Fire Emblem in that short time span. Um, let's see, more comments. Um... The music is a little loud. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. In fact, we can just turn that music off for now because it. Um, we can, yeah, we can definitely turn that off. Let me see. Let me just make sure my volume is loud enough. Okay, man. So, um, let's see. Some more comments for you guys. Late stream. I'm um, Etika. Did you break your dick record? Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not sure, man. I, all I've been doing is just playing that Splatoon. I apologize if I don't seem like myself. Yeah, that Splatoon has just been taking over my life, dude. Like, I mean, I gotta get to level 20. I'm level 19 right now, just have a little bit more to go, and then I'll finally have that finished. So, I'm excited. Um, yeah, man, um, how many viewers do we have in here right now at the moment? Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, we have um, 335 viewers. Okay, that's a pretty damn good number to start off for. So, in two minutes, you know... I really want to like talk about you know the hype and whatnot, but I really don't know what to say because this one is just I just don't get it. A lot of this stuff is most likely not going to be for us in the United States or for you guys in Europe or in any other region of the world, but Japan. And they have a lot of um, culture exclusive stuff that happens over there, like a lot of dating simulators, a lot more anime based games and whatnot. So. I don't think this is going to be aimed at us in terms of like content that could potentially be translated or given to us in the future. Um, we talked about hentai on your Twitch, mate. Oh, really? Damn. Did we? Did we? Um, let me see. Some more comments. Um, Hello, Pop says, yo, what's going on, bro? Um, let me see. Yeah, okay. So the music is off right now. Um, we have literally one minute left until this thing starts. When it does start, I'll turn the volume up so that way everybody can hear me correctly. But, um... Yeah, this is basically it, guys. This is basically it. It's going down. Man, I got to work on my stream setup too, man. Um, a couple of things didn't come off as good as I wanted them to, so I, my, my placement of the windows. And, you know, it's all also because, you know, I did things kind of late. And doing things on YouTube is a little bit more tricky than getting them on Twitch in terms of just, like, layouts and shit. Um, Etika Dick Simulator get over here for some translations. Um, hopefully there will be a subtitle right after this. Uh, that's another reason why I'm not too hyped because you know we won't really have any way to understand what they're truly saying to us, but we'll be able to see what the images are. So it's gonna be a little bit difficult to kind of like understand, but you know, we'll make do. I'm gonna turn the volume up of the stream just a little bit so you guys will be able to hear the direct fully. And um, with that being said, uh, I think we're just about ready for this thing to begin. So let's make it full screen for now. And um, at least now we're prepared. More comments. Oh my god, I'm so excited. As awesome as it would be, there's no way we'll get a new Smash character. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. Um, full erect Pokemon, please. Hentai game. Etika, I found two Silver Mario amiibo. I don't think Silver Mario was as rare because I saw them in Target. I saw them in um, GameStop. So he's not too. Okay, here we go, guys. The Nintendo Direct for Japan is starting. You know, the language barrier will be annoying, but let's see what this is all about. Okay. Let's go. And this is the guy who is the replacement for um, Iwata. 3DS. Directly to me? Thanks. So I'm guessing he said, please watch this first. Or he's just introducing himself. Dragon Quest 8? Okay. Hey, Erika, you got some Jap dongs? These comments are hilarious. He's hot? What? Take a look at this. A trailer for Dragon Quest VIII? I didn't really play too much Dragon Quest when I was younger. When you realize you don't speak Japanese, yeah. That's me right now. Is the volume good for you guys? Turn it up. More? Okay. I played a little Dragon Quest though, when I was younger. A little bit, not too much. Can you guys hear it now? Oh, yeah, okay, I hear you. Yeah, okay. There we go. You should be able to hear it now. The volume on the directors was really low. Hmm. I predict we won't get Smash News by Shadow Kirby. 
Yeah, I can see where you're coming from there. Uh, make the direct louder, still? Hmm. It's good now? Okay, excellent. I might still be a little bit loud in comparison to it, though. I'm gonna turn my volume down. It's interesting because in this uh, Dragon Quest, the characters, the, the player characters, aren't chibi no more. So, a little bit of a graphical upgrade. This is probably going to be on the new 3DS. You will get this in like two years? Damn right, man. Yeah, this is this is happening no time soon. We know that for a fact. I just realized this is a stream of a stream. That's pretty hype. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. Yeah, you're right though. Stream of a stream. Okay. Uh, voice too soft. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, okay, I see. Alright, I got it. Mini Iwata is hot. Mini Iwata is like, what? What? There we go. Did Square Enix always do Dragon Quest 8? I apologize if I don't know this for a fact. I, I don't follow the series, so I wouldn't know. But I know there's a lot of people that are probably hype about seeing this. Okay. Is this a new series? A 30 minute direct. You know, like we said, you know, there will be a lot of anime influence in a Japanese direct. I thought I'd have a problem with it. I damn sure don't. Hmm. The woman had big tits in that game. That's the comment, huh? This looks interesting. Oh, Renzo says, oh my god, I'm serious, that guy is hot. Oh man. Hey, it takes all kinds. Oh, let's see. Guys, um, how much do you believe that new 3D... What? We need motherfucking Smash. Okay, another, another game. Definitely region friendly for Japan. Do you think they're gonna announce Smash last? I don't think there's gonna be any Smash announcements in this direct. I mean, that's just me being real. I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah, I heavily doubt that. What the hell is this? Alright, man, this is definitely... This is definitely culture relative to Japan, because... I don't know, I mean, not that that's something that's inappropriate for America, but I mean, definitely fits on that weird spectrum. But we've had games like this in America as well, too, you know? This one definitely looks like it's more on the quirky, random, totally just unpredictable side. Kind of fits in there a little bit with WarioWare in terms of the aesthetics and the feel and the um, artwork presentation and whatnot. Check out them games. Um, I just came here and I'm confused. I hear you, bro. I'm... I'm sitting here quite confused myself, and I'm hosting the stream that's watching the stream. Uh, someone said, what the fuck is this? What has been seen cannot be unseen, man. Yo, that cat was on a nigga's body. That cat was on a nigga's body. <laughs> waifu time. It's waifu time, baby. Holy shit. Fry em it's fried emblem time. Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, are you about to get more footage? Yo, here we go, guys. Now, this is what I'm talking about. The game is about to come out in Japan, so we're going to get more information. All right, so this is the male avatar. Oh, snap, okay. Is that the dancing girl? Kawaii just ka, my nigga. God damn. I mean, I know there's probably not going to be a marriage system in this game, but still. Yo, we good. Someone said, fuck me in the ass. Wait a minute, what does this mean? Can you? 
Hmm. Wait a minute, there's like an adventure mode? Like you can walk around? Wait a minute, there's a hub? Like a hub town? I just, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. Oh my god, there's like a hub town. Like, like you can explore and talk to people and like run shops and shit. Although I haven't been keeping up with the Fire Emblem if information because I've been trying to keep myself from getting spoiled. I want it to kind of be a fresh experience for me. But still, that's really cool. Animal Crossing plus Fire Emblem. <laughs> Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem, yes. Oh, okay. Oh, so this looks strange. Man, there's a ton of these cute girls all over the place. Hmm. HUD confirmed, definitely. Someone said there will definitely be a wedding system? I hope so. Even if there isn't a wedding system, as long as I get my barefoot waifu, I'm fine. He's about to wreck her shit. Damn, hit her with that Chidori. <laughs> oh, man. Pokemon X Fire Emblem Waifu Simulator. There we go. So the avatar is like a dragon, you know, deer hybrid, huh? Wait a minute. Rooflet? Rooflet? Robin? Wait a minute. Robin? There's there's gonna be amiibo compatibility? Well, we knew this, there would be. But they can actually come into the game themselves. Very nice. And have, like, story behind them. Personality and everything. Bought in. Please, just show me, Robin. Oh my god. Damn, Marth! He wrecked his shit! Mark doesn't give a fuck! He hit him with that shield breaker! And of course, we don't see any rough of it. But still. Very interesting, though. I love the idea that it's actually going to be an explorable world. Very cool looking. It's a little bit of a different spin on things, but I, actually, I can only see it working well. Someone said, thank god I ordered Robin, man, I got him in the closet right now, baby. Hontoni. Happy Home Designer. Amiibo. What the hell is that? Amiibo card. Amiibo card. My back hurts. Amiibo card. Oh, the, the, um, the add-on thing? Okay, finally we get some um, word on this. Was this announced for America though? I don't think so yet. Hmm. So it comes in a package deal. Etika, please yell long cool. <laughs> what does this mean? Oh, there's going to be um it's going to be an Animal Crossing um, Happy Home Designer. Happy Home Designer. It's going to be a um Okay, a 3DS to go with it. And a skin for the um, regular new 3DS that America still has no word on yet. If this, if this guy says Happy Home Designer, I'm gonna, one more time, I'm gonna stab a nigga. Fam Family Computer Remix. Best choice. Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> I always laugh at that fucking name. I mean, that fucking boss. Dang, mm -hmm. all the bosses in that game were pretty fucking funny. And when Lil Mac and Knockout. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't put that in Smash. Like if you KO Mac or if you like knock him off the stage, well, yeah, whatever. 
レンドランキングを見ることができますまたランキングはプレイ動画も合わせてアップされますので、um, yeah. ジャンルのプレイをプレイしてきることができるなどこれまで以上にランキングがあると思います。Um, let's talk about your <laughs> no. もう一つ、今作のプレイをプレイしてきます。ご覧の通り、マリオはもちろん、敵や時間、音楽までもが超高速に生まれ変わったスピードマリオブラザーズを収録しています。What the hell? It's the regular stage, but it's just、um, sped up. Or you, it's just like a compilation of the best games from the Famicom. Okay. Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon Shino Dungeon. Is this,、um, is this Pokemon Mystery? Oh, wait, oh, okay. Wait a minute. Here we go. Alright, this is a little interesting. Okay. What do we have going on here, baby? This will definitely be shown off here in America. Yeah, this is a new dungeon game. Yep, definitely. More comments.、Um, is there a question which inkling do you like? I like the girl. In fact, this is made by a company that's famous for killing off characters on Reddit. Okay.、Um, September. September for Japan, at least. What is this? What is this? What the fuck is this, guys? What are we looking at? Chibi Robo? They got me excited for a minute. To be honest, I thought it was going to be some new Pokemon. Everyone loves Chibi Robo, though. I mean, he's like a candidate for Smash Brothers. Well, I mean, not an official one, but, you know, people like him. They want to see him in the game. Chibi Robo. Damn, when's the last time Chibi Robo got a game? Now that I think about it, this is actually pretty cool. <laughs> this is pretty funny. <laughs> no, can't let you see my dick. Castlevania Chibi Robo Edition? Seems legit to me. They need to bring the original game to the 3DS. Looks like a Kirby game. <laughs> Super Fighting Chibi Robo. Robot Chibi Robo. Ooh, there's an amiibo? Alright. The equation just changed. I know niggas are going crazy right now in the chat. Oh man, I know niggas are going crazy in the chat. Let's see how crazy you do to get over this shit. I mean, I want it now. I mean, Chibi Robos are considered a classify a lot of people as well, too. I never really got too heavy in the series, but I mean, I do respect it, and I do know that a lot of people are into it, so hey, by all means, I'll pick it up if, if this even hits America. Which it probably. I don't know, would it hit America? Is this, does it seem like you guys would hit America? When's the last time we got a fucking Chibi Robo? And、how many amiibo are they going to be? Is just a silver one? Or is it going to be a gold one as well? Too? Or just one? Yeah, there's just one chibi robot. Amiibo. I mean, good luck getting that amiibo. The only way you're getting that shit is if you fly to fucking Japan. My nigga, Dr. Mario. It didn't work out in Smash. His recovery was too bad, so they said, you know what? We'll just put you in a different game. They downgraded his ass. That's fucked up for me to say. Dr. Mario. 
I'm so glad to see your ass in Smash. Um, Etika, do you think Kumatora should be in Smash 4? Not sure who that is. Um, play Super Smash Flash 2. Chibi Robo is in it. Yeah, I know. I, um, I played the game before Smash 4 came out. Um, damn, Etika. My wallet is ready. I knew it. Skinny ass with Luigi. Etika, do you think... Um, no, no, I just answered that. Um, drug overdose the game. <laughs> Oh, How to pop pills 101. This nigga got mad Molly. <laughs> that shit in Smash Brothers, man. That, that's fucking Molly. He be throwing that shit out, man. <laughs> All kinds of fucking drugs. Hey, Dr. Mario, he got your fix. I'm surprised more people don't pick him up in Smash for that very reason. Be like, just what the doctor ordered. Um, pills here? Yeah. This game is shit, next. <laughs> These comments are fucking hilarious. Can we get a new Okami, please? I wouldn't mind a new Okami. Sounds good, I like that idea. Um, the only Okami game that I played was the one for the DS. Um, yeah, it was, it was, you know, my, 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 um, Akamaru... Akamaru is the um, protagonist, but I, the only one I played was the one for the DS, so I mean, I would love to get into that series. I'd love to get into a lot of series right now. Time is hard to find. I swear, I wish there were more hours in the day than just 24. Oh god, more Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games? Just let it die, please! This is one of the biggest burdens on the planet right now, just for the fact that they won't let this go away. I mean, I... I'm sorry if some of you like this. I respect that you like it, but I'm not a fan, and it's like, oh my god, are they ever going to stop? I don't know. Oh, damn, Daisy. Oh, man. Let me get a trip to Sarasara Land, man. Oh. <laughs> Yo, someone said, just kill me now, please. <laughs> not a fucking another one. I mean, I know there's probably people out there that like this series. There has to be, right? It can't, it's not as bad as Sonic Boom or whatever, but good god almighty. When we asked for a Mario and Sonic crossover way back when they started this, this wasn't the intended result. Um, like, why the fuck do I want to play a... Um, you know, whatever, uh, whatever. Um, buying the game for Sonic. Yo, so, like, right. Damn, Daisy! Yo, I mean, yo, damn, Daisy! Yo, yo, Daisy for Smash, my nigga. Goddamn, looking a little thick. Looking a little thick, Daisy. Oh shit, she can catch this toadstool, my nigga. Yo. Oh, the original um, Super Mario Galaxy. Nice legs, baby. Atticus chair should be in the Olympics. Why? Looks like that, that Daisy Campbell tone, you do to her fucking hilarious. I'm gonna make my neighbors kick me out for me laughing too loud, so that's why I'm trying to keep it chill. Ever since I've been a boy, I've always wanted to see Mario and Sonic play fucking football. Punch out to hospital. What the hell? Yoshi? What's good, Yoshi? Oh, the Yoshi amiibo, the ones that are made out of cloth. Are there multiples? <sighs> are there multiple Yoshi amiibo that are made out of cloth that are going to be coming out in amiibo form? Holy shit. Nigga, what? Oh, no, 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 no. There's no way. They would, they would not do that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I lost my shit. It looked like they were talking about the amiibo. But no, this is just showing off the different variations. There's no way in hell that the amiibo Yoshi yarn form will be available in all those colors. No way. And if it is, a nigga is getting fucking stabbed for these amiibo. I know niggas have gotten stabbed already. And this game looks so charming. I, I just love the aesthetics of this game. It looks so inviting and calm, fun, and there's even a pussy mode for you, for you fuckboys. I'm including myself, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Amiibo. Can we get a new Metroid game? I agree with you. 
Um, my nigga, what the fuck is this? More comments, more comments, man. First Daisy's camel toe, and now Yoshi's camel toe. <laughs> what? This is old news, guys. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm sure. Well, we all knew that they would be getting the amiibo would be coming, but I just didn't think you'd be able to customize it like this. Your Yoshi's look. To be able to customize it like looking like that. Old news next. It'd be cool if there was a random um, Yoshi in every single amiibo pack. Yeah, definitely. This looks like Little Big Planet. Definitely does. To be honest, though, I mean, I was not a fan of Little Big Planet myself. And I mean, I don't know. This one looks a little bit easier to take in. Little Big Planet has so much going on at one time, but this game looks a little bit more concise, but still has that same kind of aesthetic feel to where it looks really just happy. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe I'm a bitch for saying this, but sometimes I just want to play a game that makes me feel happy. And that one looks like it'll do the job. Get your very own Yoshi cocksock now. <laughs> oh, wow. That is one ugly ass Yoshi. When you tap the amiibo there, Yoshi turns into them, so obviously we gotta get a Robin look for the oh, Only works at the Mario Party. That ain't Falco. <laughs> Someone said, good, can we nerf Yoshi in Smash now? <laughs> oh, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Those comments. <laughs> Ugly ass Mario. <laughs> wow, a pussy move for you. Oh, okay, so they're gonna have different color amiibo, so three variations? That's not bad. Here we go. Smash a brat. Smash bra. Here we go. Let's go. I'm putting on my fucking headphones right now. Let's see what's going on here, baby. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh man, these are not gonna last. Oh, they're not gonna last in the slides. Project Treasure! Remember we heard about this before, but we didn't get any follow-up. So, we could very well be speaking. You know, we didn't even know what kind of fucking game Project Treasure would be. And we still aren't going to know because I don't understand what the hell they're saying. But I mean, still, we could definitely pull out context clues. Project Treasure! I've been waiting to hear about this game. Finally, we're getting a showing for it. Bowser Jr. looks like shit. No. What the hell? I love Final Fantasy. What? That's right, some type. Oh shit. This is actually a free to play game. This is like a dungeon explorer type thing. I remember the details from when they talked about it. The frame rate looks like ass though. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, still, it still looks interesting though. Are there four characters that you can play on? Only four? I can just I can just smell all the microtransactions. My nigga fucking Jason Voorhees in Project Treasure, yo. Bandai is not fucking around when they bring Jason on top of things, man. Still no actual details as to what the hell it is, but at least now we have images for the vague descriptions that we got before. Capcom. Capcom, what are you going to show us here? I'm thinking Ryu and Smash, and I'm like... Oh, never mind. Never mind. I shouldn't be giving myself erections like that. Oh, this is not what I was... Man, I was thinking Ryu was going to come through. I'm in Smash now! No, no, instead we get this most pussy-looking shit I can ever imagine. This looks like some Tama and Friends type shit. And the stream is lagging for me for some reason. What the hell is going on? Okay, no, no, we're good. You, know, you guys ever seen that show, Tama and Friends, the anime show? Oh, Tama and Friends, good old niggas to the very end. It's a game about fucking pussies? I mean, when I say that, I mean cats, of course. Man. Poonie, poonie. I, 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 I don't really have an issue with it. I mean, it looks adorable. Dude, I feel like we've gotten like four or five of these kawaii deska games in this direct so far. It's the, that's the culture, man, dude. That's the culture. Um, I want to see Bowser fuck Peach and Seamless. Nigga, I want to see that Daisy. <laughs> I'm going to buy that new Mario and Sonic game at the Olympics just to see Daisy. Because, goddamn, 
There's some fan art over out there too that just made me say, oh shit. I need to fucking, let me see, I don't know, I'm not even sweating, I need to wipe my head. Is that fucking Daisy? When she did them splits? Yo. Niggas robbed Mario's costume? Hey man, that's a dude from, um, that's a dude from Animal Crossing. And, you, and they can take a shower together. But I can't bathe with hot ladies. With, I mean, excuse me, with old ladies. And Omega Ruby Alpha Zappa. This looks... This, this looks like... Is this an old series? Because it says DX. It's a new Monster Hunter spin-off for the 3DS. Um... Let's see... It's Kawaii Desu. Not Kawaii Desu. <laughs> Sorry, my, my apologies. One more thing. The, the direct is almost over, actually. Capcom, here we go. What's going on? Okay, this looks in. Wait, is this Ragnarok? Ragnarok Online? No, 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 there's no way. What is this? Monster Hunter? Um, let's see. Etika and Daisy sex date coming soon. What the hell is this? Another Xenoblade! This looks like Monster Hunter, so, um... Yeah, it's definitely Monster Hunter. What are we getting here? Monster Hunter X? God damn, man. How many games are they planning on putting out? This does look pretty intense, though. I'm not that avid of a Monster Hunter fan, but, I mean, I do enjoy the style of the gameplay, where it's actually action-based and reaction-based as well, too, and reflexes. And I do like that style. I didn't really get too deep into it, but I do think it's a great series, and this one looks a lot more fast-paced for some reason. Or maybe it's just me, but yeah. This one's definitely going to be for the 3DS as well, too. Is this like a DLC expansion pack or something? Monster Hunter X, that's what everybody's saying. So, when will this game become- oh, wait a minute! In Japan, the Monster Hunter games were already been out for a while, so maybe this is the newest iteration and the previous game came out a while ago in Japan. Well, stayed up for nothing. No wait, the Direct isn't over yet, man. We may just have something waiting for us at the end of this thing. You guys already know Nintendo, do not turn the shit off until it is completely over. I mean, we might come out of this with nothing, but God, if you miss that moment where something big comes out, like Smash related or something, then you're gonna kick yourself in the face. This looks pretty intense, though. <coughs> Even though Monster Hunter does have like a lot of action-based gameplay and it is reaction-based, at the same time, sometimes it can be a little slow pace for me, but they usually show off the most dynamic parts in the trailers. Yeah, the graphics look like ass, though. I know it's on the 3DS, but god, it looks really fucking bad. Like, my eyes are starting to fucking bleed from looking at those horrible textures, but I mean, it feels like the previous Monster Hunter looked better. It feels like the previous one looked better. I feel like something good is happening. Um, new Monster Hunter, Pokemon, nigga damn, we need Lucas, we get nothing. Really? Monster Hunter Cross, fuck this shit. 10 frames, Monster Hunter Ripper. Oh god, don't tell me that's it. Yeah, that's it. Well, okay. So we didn't really get too much in that. Um, damn, yeah, we, we didn't get much at all. So this one definitely wasn't meant for any other regions but Japan. It showed us a lot of... Um, Kawaii Deska, I guess I'll call it that. Kawaii Deska titles. And um, the one that kind of gave me a little bit the most excitement, well, not. I mean, yeah, a little bit. Because, you know, this wasn't really anything too hype for this, but it was definitely the, um, you know, this is I'm showing off the new amiibo. It'll be Bowser Jr., Dr. Mario, and then um, who was the other nigga? Who's the other nigga? I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, he has those amiibo. And then um, you also had the Fire Emblem If, where it kind of showed off that there's now a world where you can transverse. This is details that you guys probably knew beforehand. And like I said, I didn't keep up with the Fire Emblem If information because I just kind of wanted to keep a little bit far away from the game since it is about to come out in Japan. And to be honest, man, I love the story of Fire Emblem games, or at least 
Awakening because it's the only one I played. So I wanted to kind of be hype about that one. So I apologize if I didn't really keep on top of the Fire Emblem stuff, but at least it'll be more of a fresh experience for me. But it did look cool. That whole hub world. I'm. It looks like it'll implement great with the game. The only thing that I really want confirmation of is the Waifu Simulator. But let's not forget the best part of the game. That Camel Toe on Daisy made the direct. And without that, we probably wouldn't have had too much other content to kind of be excited about in other regions. Japan definitely has a lot of games that I'm sure they'll enjoy coming along the way. But Daisy and the new goddamn Mario and Sonic and the Olympic Games is the best thing that that game is bringing to the table right now because. We really needed another one on top of everything else. I hope they keep that shit in Japan. Don't bring that shit anywhere else, because we're tired of it, man. I apologize if you're a fan of the series, but a lot of people are done with that. I mean, Sonic already is kind of making a whole lot of strikeouts, even though I guess Sega doesn't really have too much to do with making the game. But I mean, oh, good God, I'm rambling on a little bit. Um, I'm going to be talking for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to go to chat. In fact, let's see what's going on with chat right now. Um, someone said, I missed the daisy toe. Man, it was glorious. Don't worry, this video is going to be uploaded on YouTube as soon as the stream is done, so you'll be able to go back and see exactly what's going on. Um, when does it start? Uh, it already started. Great, I rubbed my nipples for nothing. Fuck my life, dude, my shit is stiff right now. My nipples have been stiff the entire time, Because, but then again, you know what, like I said, I didn't hype myself too much for this because I knew it would be content that really wouldn't fit our region too much. We also got confirmation of Project Treasure, which was something that I was really anxious in seeing more details about, but we didn't get anything in terms of the mechanics or how it would work. All we know about Project Treasure is that it's a free-to-play game, it has a horrible frame rate, and it involves four niggas exploring a dungeon. Um, well, not really niggas. I mean, there's one chick in there, too. But I mean, no, two chicks, actually. But I mean, still, all it showed us was some cool-looking gameplay. Still no confirmation on exactly how it'll play or exactly what will be the details in other regards, but you know what, whatever the case may be, moving onward, we also saw, um, what was it, we saw, actually, we can actually go back into the direct and see some some of the stuff ourselves, or uh, actually, no, we can't, um, yeah, we can't, so let's see, okay, so right now, I'm going to give the microphone to the chat, I want to hear what you guys have to say about the direct, and if there was anything that got you excited, I do feel envious for anybody that did understand Japanese for this whole thing, because you kind of just have everything that went over our heads, Totally understood by you. Um, anyways, so zero one another twenty. What's new? Um, man, this got my white splatoon ink coming. <laughs> and again, Daisy Toe amiibos confirmed. That sounds great. Oh yeah, and let's not forget the Yoshi's Woolly World amiibo. Are we given a date on those? I apologize if I didn't keep up with the date, but um, yeah, if they gave us a date on those, and I'm excited because I definitely want those amiibo. They'll probably be a little bit more expensive than the standard ones, maybe. Um, Monster Hunter Cross, yeah. Kind of cool. Wait for E3 fuckers. Yeah, the big shit is happening in E3. So, of course, with that in mind, you know, we're probably going to have our minds blown in two weeks. Mystery Dungeon has a lot of starters. Oh, yeah, Mystery Dungeon. Uh, Pussy Games, bitch, Etika, show your camel to a riot. I don't have them. I think. Um, sexy Fire Emblem. Damn, I'm excited for the new Monster Hunter. Oh, okay. I just wonder why didn't it look as good as the previous one? Or maybe that's just me. I'm, maybe I'm crazy. Um, Splatoon, Hentai, Etika, um, Fire Emblem footage. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Um, I'm waiting for all of them. He said my comment, Etika noticed me. And uh, let's see. Can we go back a little bit now? Yeah, let's go back a little bit now. Oh, we can't. Um, let's see. Don't leave the hype train yet. E3 is on its way. You're damn right. And that, my friends, will be the time where things go crazy. I know that for a fact. Okay, so at the end of the day, the Direct didn't really give us too much, but we have E3 on the horizon. And we also have some more Fire Emblem details. With that in mind, I'm okay. You know, it's whatever. And that Daisy, man. I'm gonna... I'm going to go back a little bit in the video and uh, examine that part a little bit more because um, the character selection in Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games looked quite interesting, if you know what I mean. She's of age, right? Yeah, yeah, she's of age. Okay, guys, um, thank you so much for tuning in and watching it with your boy. I apologize for me being in such a wreck lately. I haven't been posting videos. I haven't been hosting the streams. And, you know, I kind of finally, I, I kind of finally figured out how to make the streams crispy. But I haven't been doing the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing, the stuff that I love to be doing because of Splatoon and then preparation for that and all, all this other stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit of a crazy period for me. But um, things will commence as normal as soon as I get to level 20 in Splatoon. And I'll finally have that done, and I'll be able to make my videos on Splatoon and all that other stuff. Thank you for being so patient with me. I know I'm not exactly 
I'm not, I'm not exactly a bundle of joy and somebody who's just a, a pleasure to deal with on a regular basis. I know sometimes I can have my down moments, but I do appreciate you sticking with your nigga at the end of the day. Um, and if you don't want to, and, and, excuse me, and if you don't like me for it, then, you know, hopefully... Hopefully I can do something to make it up for you later on. But, um, yo, I had a lot of fun with this direct. Your comments are hilarious as usual. Please don't ever think that I have an issue with the most perverted comments out there because I don't. I actually love that shit. So by all means, let loose. There's a reason why moderators aren't a thing on my channel. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And, of course, as God's hand usual, please have yourself a damn good one. I'm going to go find that daisy. Take care.